Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model buttons on objects in a really fast way. I believe this is gonna be the first time I will be using this technique with mesh checking tool. If you want to watch the whole modeling tutorial, it's about two hours. You can find that on my Patreon. So let's start. First thing first, I will turn off subdivision surface, select that object, solo it, then I will switch to top view to see my shape. The bottom part of the object is a little bit confusing, so I will switch to polygon mode, select this with rectangle selection, selection, and say I select it so we will not see them. Now, if you look at the image plane, this is the button that we want to create. To do that, I will start with a cube. Move it, then scale it until it matches with the image plane. That looks fine. Now, go to cube, enable fillet, set the subdivision to 2. After that, increase the radius until you get a match with the image plane's shape. In that case, 14 looks okay. Now I am gonna move that up. Let's see the polygons, enable lines, make it editable. The cube, press C. We will not need these extra polygons, just select them and simply delete. Now I will go back to the top view and put the subdivision surface over the cube, press Alt, select cube. You will see that I will lose the shape that I want because we will need supporting edges to hold that curve. I will do that with line cuts, right click, line cuts. Let's start from here, press shift, this is gonna make the cut straight. Same thing over here, over here, and over here. Maybe we can move these. So now if I enable subdivision surface, press Q, I will get a much better result. Now let's go to this object, model mode. Press Alt, add a bool, then put the new cube under the base object. You will see that we will get this weird shape. This is because this new cube has open caps. We need to close them. To do that, there is a fast way. Right click, but make sure that you are on either polygon or edge mode or maybe in points mode. Right click polygon mode, uh, sorry, close polygon hall. If you now enable bool, you will get a much better result. I'm gonna move that up. Before making the bool editable, I will select my base object, switch to edge mode, double click on these edges and move them on the X so we will have in your space. Now I will go to go back to bool, enable create single object, press C, make it editable. Because of the bool, we will get these selections, delete them from the object and from the material. Now the trick is to select these polygons. After selecting them, I will right click, select melt. Now another tricky part is to go here, go mesh checking, enable check mesh, but in this tutorial I will only need edge points, so enable that. So immediately you will see these blue dots will pop up. That means that we have empty points on the edges. It says 22. If I click here, it's gonna select them all. Then simply Delete them, switch back to polygon mode, this should be already selected, then right click, select 
remove angles. This is going to automatically connect these edges. We will get some triangles, but since we are working on a perfectly flat surface, it's not going to be a problem. Now I'm going to select that polygon, inset, then press Ctrl, move it up, another inset, move that up, another one, then I will switch to line cut tool, connect these points. Then I will continue to add my sporting edges with loop cuts, like here, here. For here, I'm going to make a little loop selection with edge mode. We can either use slide tool with press control, or we can use bevel with solid mode. Something like that should be enough. Now I am going to press Q. As you can see, we get a really good result. We have some, as I said, some triangles, but they are not going to be a problem. But if we have time, we can fix this. Like you can select line cuts turn off visible only and cut here then dissolve these edges so like that you can clean the mesh but as I said since this is a flat surface it's not gonna be a problem let's go to selection and unhide the other polygons, say show all, turn off solo. That was a quick one. If you want to watch the rest of the modeling process of that GoPro, as I said, you can get them from my Patreon. And I hope that you learned something new. And I will see you in the next stories. Bye.